It's Madden NFL 23, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Here's the punter, Braden Mann, set to do the honors, and we are underway at MetLife Stadium. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. A time for Mac Jones and his Patriot offense to take the field. Jones now in his second season since being selected 15th overall in 2021. I think we'll all remember 2021 as a banner quarterback draft. And we saw five taken in the first round. It was actually the fifth of those five, Mac Jones, who was a runner-up in the Rookie of the Year voting with the fifth most yards by a rookie in league history. The Patriots, they have to be dancing in the streets with the idea that this guy is going to be their quarterback for about the next 10 years. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Nelson Aguilar has moved around a little bit in the NFL with stops in Philadelphia and Las Vegas. But last year in New England, was brought in as a free agent to stretch the field and make big catches downfield. His turn this time for a target, and he gives them a first down. Jones. On first and 10. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run with a fourth-year man. This is Damian Harris. He'll take this to the 46. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. 
Jones. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 35. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4 of 4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw, Jones throwing the out route. He's got Parker, and they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence and allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. The folks' kick is good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. After the made field goal, back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, we get our first look at this New York Jets offense, really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU, Zach Wilson. It's an educational rookie season for Zach Wilson who was drafted to be the eventual face of the Jets as the team worked through a lengthy rebuild. 2,300 yards and nine touchdowns as a rookie. He did miss some time midseason with an injury, but I really like the work that the Jets have done to put people around him and give him his best opportunity to be not only the face of this franchise, but get him back into perennial playoff contention. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. 
And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 at a Jet first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll go again with Carter. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, was strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Wilson to the sideline he's got the catch and he kept the feet in bounds well done nice third down conversion and even 20 yards pretty solid opening drive here Charles they've worked in the run game the pass game just steadily getting yards and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity and the only thing they don't have so far is points but the way that they're moving the ball now that shouldn't take much longer and they've established a great balance so far running passing doing what they want on offense Now Wilson on first down. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Carter. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw going to be caught by Davis. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. A give up the middle to Carter. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. Being chased out left. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zach Wilson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen.
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Zach Wilson who took it in himself on the touchdown run to cap it off. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. A run with a second-year man. That's Ramondre Stevenson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jones now. Off play action. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on it, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Carter straight ahead. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. That's uh, a screenplay here for Carter. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there, quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage, got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Jones. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Buying time to his left. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll run with Carter. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. On first down, right back to Carter. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That really sets him back. A loss of six. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, 
right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Wilson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. On oh, the return is Jones. A minute 52 to play until halftime. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now the new school defense is what you said taking the ball away Jones throw there complete to Myers and getting this just shy of midfield they'll spot it at the 49 a 10 yard pickup and it's enough for a Patriot first down well they obviously red man covers their partner and he got downfield broke down the defender made him what do you think, mean by that Bro yeah he made him think he was going to run a different route Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. That's a nice play on Carl Lawson's first true season as a Jet because he missed all of last year with a torn Achilles after signing a big deal with New York in 2021. He's trying to get back to the form he had in Cincinnati where he had 20 sacks. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Operating from the gun. Jones, a uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. And here's Jake Bailey now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And the Patriots have it. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Nick Folk for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10 7. 
The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Now it's Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Man, that is deflating going into the break. You're in a position with a chance to tie the game. But this kick is off the mark, and they're going to remain three points down heading into the break. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So at halftime, it's the paint. Well, you can't skip halftime on Sundays, but you can right here. So it's over, and on to the third quarter we march. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. That has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The 
The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first and ten, it's Carter. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Carter once more. And he'll have a Jets first down as good running gets him to about the 44. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. A gain there of 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. This is Wilson on the jet sweep. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, a run with Carter. And he's gonna take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 13 yard line. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They go play action with Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. They'll run with Hall. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Hall again. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. 
Well, hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 14-10. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, but as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. To throw again on second down. Jones. And over the middle, this is Parker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Jones on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, this is Harris. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Jones from the gun on third down. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. 
34 yards. And the Patriots answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And New York set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Now Carter to start the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Play action. It's Wilson. Over the middle, complete. It's Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's a give to Carter. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On the very outer edge of field goal range, it would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Wilson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit.
second and ten. It's Wilson again. A throw to the flat for Carter. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Here's Wilson to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Now Jones... He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing Jones. Completes it to Aguilar. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. first down and they go back to Harris and he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it and it's second down two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight getting down to the good stuff all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports so the Patriots with a football as we get you reset They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll run again with Harris. And some space here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. 
On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. On the ground, it's Harris. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And folks, kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. After the main field goal, back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's Wilson and the Jets. Down 20 to 17. A minute 12 to go. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Wilson to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. That's complete to his running back, Carter. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Clock's still rolling here, fourth down. Yeah, they've got to remember they cannot spike it. Fourth down, as you noted. Got to be careful here. They need to move quickly, but it's also fourth. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen, perhaps next time.